Felicity Barr with the top stories on Al Jazeera. North Korea has put its missiles on standby as leader Kim Jong-un ordered his generals to be ready for war. It was the response to a U.S. decision to send stealth bombers for military drills with South Korea. Nelson Mandela said to be in good spirits despite being admitted to a hospital in Pretoria for a lung infection. Jane Dutton has more from Pretoria. He's 94 years old. He's a frail old man. He's been in and out of hospital three times this year. He suffers from a very bad lung infection, which he picked up during his 18 years on Robben Island working on the quarry. And there's so much speculation about his health. We haven't seen him in public since 2010, the World Cup. The last pictures of him were of his 94th birthday when he looked very frail. And it's very difficult to get information. We don't even know which hospital he is at because those around him are very concerned for him and his family for privacy over this, this difficult time. At least 18 people have been killed in car bomb attacks across Iraq. The explosions targeted Shia mosques in Kirkuk and Baghdad. Syrian rebels say they have taken control of the town of Dael in the province of Deraa. It's considered a strategic victory. The town's located on a major highway linking the city of Deraa and the capital Damascus. And a former Bosnian Serb commander has been jailed for his part in atrocities carried out during the Balkans conflict. Veselin Vlahovic's reign of terror during the 1992 to 1995 war earned him the title of Monster of Grabovica, the area of Sarajevo in which he operated. Don't forget, you can always watch Al Jazeera online. Go to our website, aljazeera.com, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines. I'm Felicity Barr. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.